Good evening. What well, do you think are your qualifications for this position? And give a summary of your vision for the future of the acreage. Um, my name is Mike Erickson. I'm running for seat one. I've been a resident of the acreage since 1989. We built our first house, my wife and I, freshly married in 87. Came out here with the idea of having a little bit of space, a little bit of privacy, and build our dream home. So we physically built it while we lived in a trailer house. That was what was happening back in those days. Um, driving out dirt roads to get out here in the whole routine. Um, my background a little bit, uh, I went to the U.S. Military Academy at West Point. I also went to a prep school prior to that and got some more education at the University of Minnesota. I moved to Florida um, in 1980 and started my own company called Canvas Designers. Today we have 55 employees, of which 24 of them are residents of the acreage. Um, we've developed the company over time to actually be the world's largest custom marine canvas shop in the country. Um, what my vision is for the acreage is the same place I moved down here to. I like my privacy, I like my two acres. I want to protect that lifestyle. We've raised three boys here, um, 22, 18, and 15, and they've had a really good quality of life. The days of fishing on the canal bank and all those things. We don't really want to change that lifestyle. Um, I'm here to try and protect that lifestyle, but we also have to be smart about things. Growth is coming. In fact, four years ago, 3,000 houses were approved on what is gonna be the future of Minto West. But we never ever as Indian Trail sat down and took a proactive approach to that. I firmly believe in long-term planning, proactive approach, use some common sense. I believe I can bring my business acumen to apply it to government. I think that's one of the biggest problems with it. Does that mean stop or I got 30 seconds? Okay, thank you very much.